Hello there, I'm Alex. Welcome to Sinspiration, where I inspire you to develop a growth mindset. I've got something special for you today. Something that you wouldn't learn in school or at work. But I will teach you how to develop high emotional intelligence or EQ. There are several factors that together make up emotional intelligence. I will cover resilience, perseverance, empathy, and self-esteem. It takes an understanding and mastery of these aspects to take your EQ to the next level. Unlike IQ, which is what we're born with, EQ can be improved with training and practice. Resilience is how well you handle adversity and recover from difficulties. You encounter challenges, hit roadblocks, and some people may even hurt you mentally. While you may not be able to control these events, you have full control on how to respond. Life is hard. You don't understand something at school or work. You have bills to pay. You're not able to solve a difficult problem. Sometimes you just need to stop, take a deep breath, and take things one step at a time. It's these small steps, small milestones, and small goals that lead to the bigger goals. Accept the fact that you are human and you may not be able to do everything yourself. And you don't have to. Your friends, family, and teammates are there to support you along the way. You will make mistakes, sometimes fail, like really badly. Instead of being stuck with, I failed, think of it this way. This failure taught me an important lesson and this is how I will do things differently. Do this and you're on your way to self-growth. People will hurt your feelings throughout life. It can be criticism or breaking your heart. Criticism are actually opportunities of growth. You can watch my video about constructive criticism. Relationship problems can cut much deeper. Everyone needs their own time to self-heal, but what happened in the past is past. You need to move on. That person wasn't meant for you, but that means there is someone better out there who is waiting for you. Friends who hurt you may not actually be true friends. Invest your time in people who value you. Having high resilience is being effective at responding to these types of adversity. It's obviously impacting you in a negative way, but you can train yourself to view it in a more positive light. Get your mojo back and move forward in life. Perseverance is not giving up to achieve a goal or goals despite challenges. You fall, you get back up. You fall again, you get back up. When people knock you down, you get back up. Perseverance is necessary to succeed. Most people give up along the way or don't even try at all. By consistently working on yourself, and improving the product or service that you're building, you'll start to see progress. Progress, no matter how small, is another step towards your bigger goals. Some people don't see it that way, that if they're not able to achieve the big goal immediately or soon, they think it's best to just give up altogether. You don't have to follow the crowd. Be yourself and go after those challenges that other people have given up on. How do you think I felt when I did poorly on my college coursework? How many job applications and interviews do you think I went through before finally landing a job that best aligns with my career goals and aspirations? We've all encountered these challenges, but we never give up. Sometimes it will end with failure, and that's okay. What matters is you had the courage to try and didn't give up until it was absolutely the last option. You'll be glad you tried, no regrets. Successful people are those who persevere. Empathy is the ability to understand someone else's feelings. Another way to put this is to see it from the other person's point of view or perspective, or put yourself in their shoes. What I find fascinating is that robots and AI cannot display empathy Yet, empathy is one of the few characteristics of being human. Can you tell if a person is feeling down, anxious, or nervous? Can you be happy with a friend, family member, or acquaintance when they share with you an accomplishment or pleasant event? Can you sympathize 
with another person. To develop empathy takes practice of listening between the lines of what others are saying. If you're asking someone if they enjoy their new job and they say, it's great without emotion or ending with the period, chances are it's not. On the other hand, if they say, it's great, releases positive energy and you can sense that. Another example is when someone tells you a story or the challenges they're going through. While their content is important, it's how they're feeling that's critical. Paraphrasing what they said is a fantastic start, but if you can also state how they're feeling, your empathy is going to gain you a lot more respect and trust. Empathy is extremely powerful when it comes to developing love relationships, friendships, and work relationships. Self-esteem is confidence in one's own worth or abilities and self-respect. This is probably the most important factor for EQ because self-esteem is how much you value yourself. I view self-esteem as the main driving force between optimism and depression. Low self-esteem is not a mental problem itself, but it is closely related to mental health. The signs include feeling hopeless or worthless, blaming yourself unfairly, and lacking confidence to do certain tasks. Low self-esteem can be caused by bullying, abuse, discrimination, loss of your job or difficulty in finding employment, problems at work or school, physical and mental issues, relationship issues, financial problems, body image, and pressure to meet unrealistic expectations from social media. It starts with how you view yourself in a positive light or a negative light. There will always be both, but you can train yourself to weigh the positives more than the negatives. Instead of, I broke the code or system, think, if I can get this code and system to work, it will be a major improvement that will help out the team and the product. Or instead of, there's no way my Mandarin can be as good as my peers. Think, I'm going to practice my Mandarin five times a week and watch TV shows in Mandarin. Set some goals and learn from the experiences. High self-esteem can be built with a positive attitude, optimism, and believing that there is a solution or way out of everything. Be mindful that it is not the end of the world if not everything goes your way. Celebrate your successes and accept compliments from others. Ultimately, be kind to yourself. Understand what makes you happy and pursue it. Resilience, perseverance, empathy, and self-esteem all contribute to having high EQ. As you work on improving yourself on each one, your mental health is strengthened. There are a lot of haters out there, including people who will disagree, point fingers, and even discourage you. You can't control their behavior, but you can control how you see things and react. Remember that you are not perfect, but you can learn, will learn, and can do what it takes to achieve your dreams and aspirations. Show and prove to others with results. They'll be speechless. High EQ can not only help you combat mental struggles, but also prevent more serious mental conditions. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Let's train your mindset. Hope you enjoyed this video about EQ. Hit that like button and leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos and check out my page for more content on how to grow your mindset. You've been inspired today. Shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium.